This is the future. So this is one of the most requested videos from my community. My community asked me what setup will I be using during the new water fight off the sentient invasion. We all know that sentients are the toughest enemies in the game. They are not just bullet sponges, but there are bonkers special units that can adapt to damage type. In the past, sentients are a nuisance especially if you are dealing with high level ones. But right now, there are a couple of things that make them melt like butter. First, Xata's Whisper, the first ability of the broken Warframe that empowers all equipped weapons to inflict one extra hit per damage instance for a percentage of total weapon damage as void damage. This also resets Sentient and Acolyte's damage resistance upon void status proc. In case you haven't heard, void damage is now true neutral by removing the 50% resistance of void damage on cloned flesh and fossilized enemies. So basically, you got the perfect sentient slayer as it does extra damage to sentients, and it resets their resistance to damage types. The only downside is, you will need the Helminth system for this. I have the Helminth system unlock squad leader, and I also have Xata's whisper as subsumable ability. Now, what frames do you recommend for this ability? We will discuss that further later. But for now, let me remind you that there's another sentient killer, and all you need to do is complete the Chimera prologue story quest in the new war storyline. I'm talking about the Parasus, Bala's signature weapon, introduced in update 23.10. Also known as the Sentient Slayer, the weapon can gain additional max ranks after polarization capping at rank 40 which requires about 5 former with the additional ranks applying a damage bonus to sentients and removing their damage resistances. At level 40, which is the max rank of this weapon, it gains about 60% more sentient damage, and that doesn't include the plus 41% sentient damage if you decided to equip both Sacrificial Steel and Sacrificial Pressure. Remember, this weapon is not only a sentient slayer, but can also be used in normal missions and as well as Steel Path to kill acolytes fast. The build I'm using for my Paracers as right now is a combination of sacrificial mods for more sentient damage and as well as critical chance. Blood rush for red critical chance at max combo counter. This gets pretty solid once you use the heavy attack as you can get a max of 300k red crit slash damage from this weapon. Weeping wounds for more status chance that enables you to proc both viral and slash damage on this weapon. Primed fever strike and north wind to form the viral element. Amalgam Organ Shatter for more critical damage, but its main purpose is for faster wind up speed. I'm using a combination of fast attack and heavy attack for my paracers as right now. Once I build up my combo count to max, I can then decide whether to use it in group targets or save the heavy attack for the acolytes in a normal mission. The same goes with the sentients. Primed reach for more range but this is just a quality of life improvement for this melee weapon. If you have something that can group multiple enemies at once, then you can use another mod in this slot. But for sentient, I highly advise that you go with primed reach. Honestly speaking, the Paracesis is very useful now that sentients are not immune to status effects. The same goes for acolytes. Sentients are generally significantly weaker now but this shines a lot more because of that adaptation removal so you can viral and slash them and when they adapt the next strike clears it. By the way, I didn't use any combo duration mod in my build since I can easily get solid combo duration using primary dexterity in my primary weapon, and secondary dexterity arcane in my secondary weapon. Ok, now let's talk about Xata's Whisper. There are many warframes that can be a sentient slayer using this subsumable ability. You can use it with Excalibur as his exalted blade benefits a lot from this ability. Also, you can use this with Magaz it synergizes very well with her bubble. Also, you can put it to Groma and increase your overall damage, allowing you to kill sentients faster. Or, you can always use it with Pixie Queen Titania. The damage of Xata's Whisper when paired with some galvanized mods plus her dex Pixie are insane to the point that it melts everything in seconds, and sentients are not excluded in the list. They just melt in seconds but the only problem I have with Titania, is survivability. We still have no clue how far the level of these sentient scales, but I'm guessing that it wouldn't be too high so they will be easy targets for Titania. Plus, Titania got some awesome mobility with her razor wings so she can just fly around from point A to point B and finish the mission quickly. 
Another good sentient slayer with the Xata's Whisper is Mesa. Just subsume the broken Warframe's first ability into her first ability and you get a versatile sentient killer. She can easily dismantle sentient enemies with her galvanized regulator pistols, while having enough survivability to withstand the attacks of sentients. Take note that these Warframes are only recommendations against sentient enemies in general. We still don't know yet how the new war quest will go. Are we going to see our Warframes in action, or it will be a different thing this time and the story is fully driven by factions and we don't need our Warframe? We still are not 100% sure what will happen with the new war update but you can always use these Warframes in any sentient missions in the game right now. Also, I have a feeling that the new war is not the final chapter of the sentient but will open up new chapters, and possibly, we could reach the point wherein we take the fight to the Tau system, which is the home of the sentients. For now, make sure you have the Paracesus as it will be used in the new war and the Xata's Whisper Warframes are just back up in case they are needed. Right now, I am more excited about what the new war update will unlock for future content than making it just another farming story quest which I will just farm the new things in the update. Let me know in the comments section below what are you most excited about the new war update and also, let me know what setup will you be using during the sentient invasion. So that's it for this video and I will see you at the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off. This is the future.